Here's Homeland Season 3, Episode 2, titled, Oh, Ah, Ah. Uh, of course, follow the money and you always get results. That's what we learned from the wire. But also what we learned, too, is that when you follow the money and you get results, you get in trouble within the political circuit of what's happening because, generally speaking, the people in the higher up positions have gotten into their to their office through elections and elections cost a lot of money and sometimes you have to get money from all kinds of different avenues in order to uh, fund your campaign so you follow the money and trouble looms on both ends of the spectrum you get results and you also get trouble from the other end Carrie hung out the dry uh, by by Saul uh, she seeks telling uh, the she seeks telling the press what what happened with down with her uh, she gets sick after treatment then she's gonna be left in the loony bin and haven't we seen this before it's kind of like rinse and repeat of Carrie uh, Carrie's arc uh, Dana becoming uh, coming the next Brody well she is a Brody but she's becoming just like her father she seems to be a Muslim now she has a relationship with an unstable guy yeah she's exactly like Brody Brody was a Muslim. She doesn't know what her next move is. She has an, he has an unstable relationship with an unstable woman, and aka Carrie. She's turning into exactly like her dad. So what's the end game here? Where they're gonna go? There's no real thriller or threats in this episode. It's all setting things up uh, for a bigger payoff down the line. But it's still uh, there's something still entertaining about this show. It's like 24 in a little bit of slow motion and character development, where it's like there's all these plotting going on, but it's more kind of done in a careful way instead of the clock running out every 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 you know every hour. But Carrie is Jack Bauer in so many different ways. That's my review.